In this FL Studio 20 trap beat tutorial video, I'm going to show you and break down the business side, how to make a beat, how to mix it, how to do it from scratch, how to change your sounds, how to keep it dynamic, how to arrange, how to put drops in there. I'm going to teach you everything. So stay tuned. Make sure you watch to the very end. One thing I want to touch on is the fact that I know you're out there, you're producing, you might feel lost, you might feel like your beats aren't good enough, you might feel like you want to sit on your beats and you don't want to put them out. I would advise you to upload one beat a day at least and I'll also give you tips on how to do that because sometimes you don't even have to be the one that does it. So anyway, let's go in. So we start with, uh, we're going to start with Serum today. And I'm just going to go through it. Let me see. I can't hear nothing. I'm just going to go through it um, kind of rapidly so I can just show you uh, the, the process in a way that's kind of fast. But right now, I'm not hearing anything. Oh, okay. There it goes. I'll go back and forth between talking about stuff and not. So I'm going to start with the, the melody. The melody. Melodies have been winning. Shout out to my boy Kev Barnes for helping me. Um, realize that. So something I just did is I played a melody, I liked it, and then I guarantee you if I would have turned on the metronome and tried to do it again, something would have been very something would have been different about it, or it might not have been the same thing, it might not have captured this the, the same essence. So here's a trick. If you want to capture the essence of what you just did, and um, you can go to tools and then dump score log to selected pattern and select the last two minutes. It will dump the last things you just played onto the timeline, and then you can simply go to it like this and just play it. You see? So then I'm going to show you also how to grab it. So it starts from here and it goes right there and then I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to select all and delete the rest and then go here to then paste it right here. So check, it's going to go out right there. I'm going to turn up the volume. I'm going to turn up the tempo because I want this to be a up tempo track. So the way you control it is you take this and you drag the thing backwards. And it seems like I'm gonna have to line them up a little bit better. So another little quick shortcut you could do to try and get it closer is to go Alt Q. And hopefully that'll line it up some, but sometimes you just gotta. Whenever you see it like off of the black line, a real simple and fast way to do it is just to drag it to the black line. Usually that works. I'm not saying it's always gonna work, but usually it does. Okay, so I have the same thing going uh, over and over again. It goes one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, two, three, four. So it's a two bar pattern. One, two beat, two bar, and two, three, four, bar two, two, three. It's a four bar pattern for three, two, three, four, bar four, two. So to keep our melodies different, we can move something, change an element. So it doesn't stay the same. So that's the that's the lead melody and then we're going to copy and paste it into the next channel and then go replace and we're just going to find another sound. I happen to have absinthe FM8 contact and massive and serum, but we can just use citrus cuz you have citrus. So let's just use citrus. So you hear this you hear the sound. You hear it. You hear it. Shout out to all my haters by the way. How you doing? How's the fam? Everybody good? All right, for sure. Um <laughs> Uh, just choose a sound like maybe like pads or pluck or or anything like that uh, let's see let's see bell and then clearly you hear we need to turn this down and sometimes when you start the beat the beat can be real pitchy and like in the upper registers and you know real high so you might want to hold uh, control and hold the down button to shift everything down an octave to bring it down to a more pleasing to the ear uh, level. Okay, so I brought, I brought both of them down. Cool, we'll just run with that for now. And then we'll just start adding drums. So this is a super long one. All right, so whenever the melody is super long, I might actually make this the first pattern and then make the drums the second pattern. So the, the melody can live on its own on the playlist. And then you can uh, cut this right here, change it to pattern two, and then just paste it right here. So then when you go back to place pattern two, you can just make two uh, drum patterns within this one long melody. That way you have a little bit more control of the drums and you can use all the drums right within here without having to scroll and do other stuff. But now we'll be working in the song mode from here on out, which is which is okay. I'm gonna take off the, uh, the metronome. And then go back here. Where is this at? Come on, come on, come on, okay. And you see, I, when I first started to do the percussions and the drums, I try to like do like counter melodies and things that are away from the standard boom bap of the snares and the kicks and the 808s. Do the, do the accentuating percussions and do all those sounds first to get more of a rhythm. Wow, what is, I'm just trying to figure this one out. It's like not starting in the beginning. It's bothering me. Okay, there it goes.
Sometimes just have these things called loot, use loot points. You have to take those off. And then when you put in a kick, you usually want to cut it. So if they run into each other, it'll cut off. So the, the, the long tailed 808s that go like that, you might want to play them against the beat and then tune them a little bit with the pitch to make sure that and then do the same thing cut itself. And then listen to it or hit the piano roll. I mean, hit the, yeah, piano roll because it might not be perfect. Hold Alt, hit Q, and line them up. Hit R to take off the record. And line them up. And then hold Control and hit L to extend them. And then you hit C to cut, and then you can put in those little chops that sound dope. That doom, doo doom, like you see. You cut it right there, and then you hit B again to turn it back to a paintbrush. You hold Control, hit up. And then this one can be the same thing. You can turn this one into a one of those. Um, you might even want to do another again. So the first bar, you might want to have it like this. Two, three, or first two, three. And then the th bar three, two, three, four, bar four. And then put this one on. And then take it out again. So you might want to have this on the bar one and two. That'd be one and two, and then bar three and four. I hope you can see this. Um, you add in something different to make your tracks different, you know? It's like your marketing. You got to just keep it different. You got to keep it new and exciting. Upload a beat every day. Okay, so we got that. Keep it simple for the artist. Leave some room for them. Um, mm, what do I want to do next? Okay, so say we're looking at this, right? And we have pattern one, we have pattern two. A quick thing we can do, remember I was saying to make it different is just click and change this to pattern three. The way I did that was you just click in the upper corner, you go make unique, change that to pattern three because now you have a totally separate pattern and you can make that one change I was talking about in your 808 and you add that and then so now you have a sequence that has two 808s right here and one right here but it'll give it that little bit of variance and then also you might want to do that with your snares so like let's say you have this as your snare pattern that's your snares but then you want to add something because this is the second time around this is bar four You know, like it'll be different this time. Um, so here, let's hear what that sounds like. You see? Um, what else? What else? We want to turn these down, the mel melodies a little bit, turn those down, but we'll do that part in the mix. And then we can select all of these and hold control and hit L. And that will assign each track to its own individual track. And now we can get to mixing. So we start with the kick. Just a quick mix, maybe have it in this area. Maybe have the quick mix, the 808 around this area. Oh, also real key, turn your master, go to your master and turn your, 
your master limiter off because it might do some funny things to your kick. Um, might mess up with the dynamics and then do your clap. Your clap you want to have somewhere in this general area. And all your accentuating little accessories, your, per your perks, all your perks, you want to um, turn those down. And then maybe even left, put your one on the left and one on the right. Give it that stereo surround. Okay, so the, the hi-hats I left real basic. I'm going to go back and adjust those some more. Just turn your perks down. So in normal situations, also you would go back to the, the melody, change it up a little bit, flip it a little bit, add something, like maybe add that halftime plug-in, add gross beat, like switch it up a little bit uh, to help give your beat more variance and more life. And then once you have your sounds relatively mixed, you might want to throw on a compressor and a soft clipper to make sure it's not clipping. Uh, maybe a preset, maybe something like Master in 2.4. So now we can go to the uh, what part? We can go to the uh, the track out part. I kind of did it a little bit different since I made two separate um, patterns. But you just click one, go to pattern, click split by channel, drag out each sound. We're gonna have to do this twice because of the kind of like the awkward way I did it um, in this example. But it's all good. It's always better, you know. Uh, to me, a little bit of flexibility, a lot of bit of flexibility, actually. There's a lot of ways to get things done. There's um, there's not one way to do it. There's obviously not a, like just one right way to do something. There's always multiple ways to to get the job done. And I feel that if you have more tools, then you're better off. Um, again, this is the operation side of the business. This is the making of the beat. What you also want to focus on is the marketing of your beats. I don't care where you are in your in your beats. I mean, people respect beginners. So don't feel bad that your beats might sound beginner. Um, people might think my beats still sound beginner. I mean, it just it just there's it's just all opinion. And the only opinion you really want to care about is the opinion of your customer. Oh, so real quick. One thing I forgot is this pattern right here has two um, channels in it. So you can do the same thing, click the pattern and then click split by channel and then just take this one down. So now you have them separated. So This is the intro. And you can put in little drops. And then, so this is the uh, start of the first verse. Um, you want to give it some variants. Let's see what it sounds like taking it an octave down.
That might be cool. The artist might enjoy that. Like, don't sleep. Artists like to be represented on the track. So if you change it and you give them more room, then they'll be appreciative. They might pick your beat because you don't have a billion things going on. little breakdowns to your beat. And then you could do something like uh, take this section, which is like we can call the hook section. Um, and then take out all the notes, like a bridge. I said notes, I mean all the sounds, like all the instrument percussion sounds. See, I'm taking out little things, just test things, test, take them out, see what it sounds like. It'll give your beats more dynamics. And if it doesn't sound good, put it right back. Okay, so maybe we could have that as a little bridge and then we'll bring it back. Remember, I'm just I'm just doing this kind of fast, just for example purposes. I wanna I wanna keep you uh, locked in. So this is the hook right here. Back into the back into the hook. I mean the verse. What you could do is maybe take out the hats. So that's that's the basic main idea. Another thing you could do is you can bring in the uh, you can make your beat in the beginning have that little intro, that little underwater intro. The way you do that is you go to the master track, you select just like I had done, you select these right here, and then uh, Go back to your mixer, go back to the master track, select parametric EQ2, and then you move the preset over to the right twice. You right click on this and you click create automation um, clip, and then you bring this down a little bit once this appears, and you'll have that underwater intro. And what's cool about this too is you can put it in different places, like right here. And then if you want to make it different from the last one, click Make Unique. Say if you want, you don't want to make it as drastic, and bring it up a little bit. This will give your beats more dynamics. You see how it changes just a little bit, that little filter. But it brings like transition into your beats. So normal and hmm. Oops. one other thing you can do is you can right click on this uh, create automation clip for the the volume and then you can right click on copy value and then uh, let's see how long this is so far 223 that's cool most a lot of modern beats are ending fast these days anyway 
So you paste, you right click to create a point, you and then you paste it, and then you fade it out. So there's a quick tutorial on how you can do an intro, you can do an outro, you can mix your beat, you can arrange it, you can uh, make it, you know, center it around the melody, you can put your drums in there, and you can know to move forward, upload a beat a day. It's all about your marketing or else you'll just be sitting on a bunch of beats and you'll never do anything. And if you want more added uh, involvement, if you want to come join the membership, go ahead and click the link below. There's a lot of information I give you about beat sales, how to run your beat business. There's a lot of ways you can do things. You can do these type of tutorials. You could you could do drum kits. You could do beats. You could uh, do studio time. I was just I was just consulting with a producer uh, yesterday who had an issue with like charging people. Like and he would go to their studio and actually record them. I mean, there's a lot of value if you're going to the artist's uh, spot and then deploying your mobile studio. There's a value in that already. So he was charging like 40 per session. I was teaching him how you can just you can charge for that 40 per session, but then put an add on for actually going to the location. You know, maybe that might be like an extra twenty dollars. I mean, really, that just covers your gas. And then if they want a custom beat on the spot, that could be another add on. And then, you know, like I, I go into all that in detail. I give you the tools and the templates and the forms. You can have like a, a customized menu that you put on your beat site so people can like order things from you. So really putting together a, 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 a full business from it. And if you, you probably can see already that it's like making the beat is is. Is, is very important, but it's a small component of it um, because it's it's a larger pie. It's everything involved at the same time. So um, I'm real happy about, uh, you know, the impact that we're having with a lot of producers because they're changing their life. They're actually able to um, think about a real solidified, bona fide future in producing that isn't and doesn't revolve around like getting placements and like just only selling beats. You can have a full fledged career uh, from doing this. So if you want to, uh, you know, learn more about that and potentially join, go ahead, click the link below, like, subscribe, do everything. Um, shout out to all the producers out there doing videos like this. This is like the most enjoyment that I get from anything that I do. So definitely appreciate you. Oh, and we're at 2,500 subscribers. So that's, that's super cool. That's super cool. I never thought I was, that was going to happen, but it all changed when I started like doing things by, based on a schedule and um, based on like just doing, just being consistent over anything, over how I feel, over um, how good I think I am or the lack thereof. Like if you're down on yourself and you think that you need to like raise to get to some level before you break out or you're waiting for some big opportunity where you're at the mall and you bump into future and he's like, hey, what beats do you have? And you're like, I'm glad I never uploaded those beats to the internet because now they're all yours. That's just like dreaming, and I don't really like to um, design businesses or, or go into anything or do anything that's based on a dream or somebody else's permission. So I, I teach you how to take control and, and do it on your own terms. So hope you got something out of this video, and uh, I'm going to just play the beat while it rides out, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>